What's up, my sexy peeps? This is the Short and Bald Show. And today, we're talking about the Kenobi season review. What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Jimmy Bald. This is Bruno Short. That's my new name now. So before we get into the show, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that my brother and I launched a t-shirt brand called Earth 57. You guys could check it out, www.earth57.com, where we take characters that everyone loves, and we basically turn them into their animal counterparts. So it's your favorite characters from our Earth, Earth 57. And this is actually one of them. I'm sure you guys have noticed them in like the past couple episodes. We've been like wearing these shirts. This is the... Red Ranger. We're fucking twins. And uh, so, yeah, check it out. There's even an Instagram. I think it's uh, earth57 underscore shop. I'll link it in the description below. Doesn't even know his own. All right. I just, the Instagram is brand new. Switch. Uh, But you guys can check out the website. See if you like it. If you like it, it helps a lot. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get into the Kenobi review. My first thought of Kenobi was it validates watching the crap that was episode one two three well one two you know what i mean for me it kind of like i still okay. don't like episode one but anyway, yeah, no, I, any that was garbage yeah the pod racing anyway um what were your opening thoughts on obi-wan oh Bes- i thought to, besides I, thought, I, I love it there were some slow parts and something like yeah. plot holes people are gonna bitch about plot holes of course but i mean dude you know what though they're like they're undoing they're not undoing but they're like they're just adding to like 20 years of lore like it's hard to like yeah exactly but this is this connect. is like a lot of lore that people already knew of because of like let's say the the clone wars cartoons or the rebels cartoons or oh even, my god if you guys haven't watched those watch it Sorry. yeah or even like the comic books or whatever so these are all things that were canon once upon a time then became legacy because disney yep. bought it and the now they're like universe, yeah. yeah that's it and now they're like recanoning everything and it's kind of nice that you know, like fucking, what is it? Like ten years ago, twenty years ago, when when the hell did number three come out? Yeah, what was it? Two thousand three? Something like no. Two thousand five max. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. So it's like yeah, fifteen years later. Let's say, give or take. I'm sure I'm wrong. Um, it's nice to see these characters back. To be honest with you, I wish they would have like maybe utilized Hayden Christensen a little a bit little more. A more. little more. And like the de-aging was a little bad. It was actually a lot bad. But anyways, uh, it didn't bother me as much because. I don't really care. But the only thing that I was kind of like eh about was like, why did they take the Hayden Christensen from Clone 2005. Wars? 2005. Okay. Sorry. But why did they take the Hayden Christensen from, like they gave him like the outfit of Anakin from Clone Wars mm, rather yeah. than from Return of the Sith or what is it? Revenge of the Revenge Sith? Revenge of the That's Sith. That's it, Revenge yeah, of the Sith. Yeah. So like, because I kind of like that, that, you know, like that rugged hair that he has with like the evil eyes. like the. Okay, can we just, like since we got there so quick, can we just talk about fucking Vader? Vader is the most menacing yeah. villain in pro- for me right now. Like they made him look fucking like a, in that first scene where you see him like go through the village and yeah. snap the kid's neck. Yeah, bro. Uh, it's because he's so gangster, uh, but in the movies, we don't get dude, enough that of whole that scene, gangster he shit. He looked like a mass murderer. He looked yeah. like Jason running after people and just like carnage going through wherever he lay. And he had that like jaws. Yeah. You know what I mean? That sense of like, ah, uh, there's like a, it's, it's the threat is real. Yeah. yeah, man. Like, yeah. you know how a shark doesn't like show emotion when he rips your, like half your body. Yeah. Ah, oh, Vader. So, and just the talking in between, like the years have taken its toll. I don't know what he says. Yeah. Like, and, dude, you, one hand, Vader was one handing Obi-Wan at the, f- the first fight was dope. Well, this He's is just Darth Vader at his bro. peak, bro. Yeah, that's this what is I his love. Peak. It was nuts, yeah. ridiculous the way they portrayed Vader. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, even like it just was, it was, down uh, the ship. It was Jones, right? Apart. It was James Earl Jones. Yeah, oh, my I'm pretty God. sure. Uh, fucking when you have Mufasa, no shit, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he's oh man, and so the, gangster. And the, everything looks so clean. Like Vader looks so clean. I, yeah. I don't know. By the way, I don't know why people give Riva so much hate. I don't understand why. Like, and the of actress this, herself. Like, yeah, like I don't understand where all this hate is coming from. Like. You know what? I've said it before and I stick to it. Fucking Star Wars fans are some of the most toxic fans. No, just fans in, in No, no, no. Star fans Wars of in things, general. Bro. Star it's Wars fans take this don't shit know how far. to be happy with what they get. They're like, every, everything that they get 
since the original trilogy, in their eyes, is bad. Yeah. And like they gave this fucking poor actress who like for her probably oh my god I got my shot. Yeah, yeah, I know, poor like, thing. Yeah. I'll, listen, I'll talk shit all day long about movies, but what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, if you're you're attacking attack the And actress, I had no like, problem with Riva. No. I had no problem whatsoever. I mean, it makes I mean, the Inquisitor, the, there's the some first things, Grand Inquisitor is a bitch. There's some things that don't make sense to yes, me. Yes, okay. Like you're but, telling me a youngling got a lightsaber through the chest and is still alive? I don't know about that. Yes, but it's not enough to get me angry at the show or the actress. Do you know, do you feel me? Even if I can get mad at the show, there's no way in hell I can get mad at the actress. This is just a person that's reading lines off a piece of paper. Like, someone else wrote this. You don't say. You know? So, like, I don't know. Anyways, I love that we pick up exactly 10 years after the third one ended. I love that you see Kenobi keeping his distance from Luke. And the whole time, you're like, okay, Kenobi's there on Tatooine. Something's going to happen with Luke. And then you get, like, the carpet pulled out from yeah, under you, yeah. you know? And it's like, oh, you, so you thought. No, this thing is actually about fucking Leia. Like, okay, I kind of like that. That's not bad. The guy from fucking I Alderaan even, comes. And I, I even liked all the beats with uh, with Leia, all the the storylines. I thought I, Leia was fantastic. She was kid probably, actresses, man. Kid actors are fucking. They're getting. They're top getting notch. better, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's not like, cringy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Like Leia was wow. Ms. Organa. And like even the way. I mean, I don't know if they just did it like this or she's actually a little genius or something, but she, I could clearly yeah. see like the Padme and the Anakin in the way that she acts, in the yeah. way that she talks, yeah, yeah. in what she does, you know, like, and yeah, it's just fantastic. In terms of character, beautiful. And I love it. We didn't it. even say this, but fucking Ewan McGregor. Bro, it, there's nothing to say. He's he's, he's up there he with is Kenobi. He's up there with Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Iron Man, RDJ. Yeah, and, you know what I mean. That's it. He, f the they nailed it the first time, and like, and to me, that's what kept me watching episode yeah. like one, two, and three. To be honest with you, like Obi Wan well, has one, been one of Kenobi my Kenobi yeah, was Kenobi's garbage. Garbage. But I'm saying like, what kept me through like two and three? I'm sorry, but. Yeah, well, every, especially every, two and three. Yeah. Two and three, like every yeah. fucking scene he's in, he, I'm like, he oh my God, it, that's bro. Obi-Wan. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, it's fucking good, man. And did you see he took the pose in the final duel? He, yeah, he did. Yeah, I saw that. Call back, newbies. No, but you know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> it's. It just, it felt. And when he came back with felt that, so nice. that rock, that earth bending he did at the, at the end, what? Yeah, where he fucking like. Fucking full on tough you airbender. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just rock, just. Yeah. That was sick. And the cracking like of the helmet, the, the helmet, everything. The, yeah, bro. The breathing, like, but dude. even even because if um, I was even looking at some pictures and like on the side that that he cracks the helmet later on in um, what the fuck is that movie? The number six, Revenge of the Jedi or Return of the Jedi. You when Darth Vader takes off his helmet, you see like he has like a giant cut on his head. And it's on the same side that fucking Obi Wan smacked him. That's, See, that's gangster. A, that it kind of makes you think, like Vader is kind of like a glass cannon. You know what I mean? Like cuz yeah. if cuz nobody we never yeah. when we see him on screen we kind of forget that like if you damage this like oh, yeah, mind you okay you'll never get this close obviously. Right. But like yeah. old Ben could do it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So cuz like you cut that shit off and the, the guy fucking started wheezing like fucking <laughs> <laughs> like right away <laughs> Yeah, and when he's like, "Yeah, you killed Anakin," and blah, I was like, "Oh," and they had like the voice was morphing in yeah, and out, like bro. through that was through insane. James Earl Jones and Christensen. Jesus, yeah, that was so good. That was really, really nice. It was fucking powerful, man. Like you really felt the emotion in that. Yeah, yeah, the, and the dragging through the fire of Obi Wan. G damn, damn. People were uh, saying like I was reading online. People were like, "Oh, it was very anticlimactic." Yeah, fuck off. But like you're gonna complain about episode first two. of all we know what happened to these characters anyway yeah that's it it's not so much the end point it's what's happening during it's the it's journey, the journey that i yeah, want to see yeah that's it yeah, so exactly. it's like haters pick but you know yeah. star wars fans they just you can never get anything right what i liked about this series mm. is that it's the first time we actually see like the downfall of the jedi so close after order 66 no <sighs> Cause like the closest. Do it like three years later. I want to see I wanna, massacres. I want to see. You know what like, I mean? The day after. I want to see I executions. See, yeah, that's it. You know, like this is. It's ten years later after Order sixty six, and you're still seeing Jedi like 
die and getting hunted and the whole point of the inquisitors and oh my god there's so much story to tell in all of those years that it's just like i don't even need like you can make a whole other show just called order 66 a ragtag group of jedi that find the you know f find their fucking path together or something and like i don't know by the end of it they all die like rogue one style or something pretty good you know like something insane like the reason why Darth Vader makes the Inquisitor group, the reason why he appoints all these people, the reason he creates this fucking little army to find Wipe Kenobi. Out, yeah. You know, like I want to see all that shit, the build up to that, and because uh, I found the Inquisitors, the Inquisitors were really gangster, and we didn't see enough of them. Just, just make a fucking, um, just make a series on Vader, like a year after. You know what I mean? Like yeah, after yeah, yeah. he just gets repaired and how he starts hunting down Jedi like at full rage. I really liked how you felt the 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 tenseness of everything. How like the you you can clearly see that the Imperials have won and the stormtroopers are everywhere and like it's impossible to be a Jedi and escape. I had my ass clenched every time I saw Vader on screen. No, but even like, you know when you're like regular stormtroopers. All the stormtroopers that follow Vader can't aim for shit. And he's... Yeah. Why I ought <laughs> yeah, I know. Bro, they're like six feet apart and he's just shooting all, like around them. I don't understand. They they do all the... They, uh, oh my they God. They do background I checks. They do everything, but they don't do aim practice. Qui-Gon at the end. Beautiful end. We didn't... What? Beautiful end to that show. I mean, he, 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 needs, like, he needs the paycheck, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course he's going to come back. Fuck. He actually showed up. Like, see, that was a mental callback too because even Yoda at the end of Revenge of the Sith tells him, okay, I have a mission for you. When you go to where's, Tatooine... Where's Yoda in, in Obi-Wan? He's on his planet. Yeah, I know. He's on, what is it, Dagobah? Yeah. You couldn't like... Use the force. I don't know something. What's he going to do? He probably doesn't even know any of this is happening. He he's, knows something's happening. He can. It's bro, happening. he's he in can hiding feel. on purpose. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying he can sense shit. He tells Luke that he's been watching him his whole life, and he can sense, so he can sense shit. Yeah. So he knows what's happening. Well, he probably doesn't interfere because he thinks Kenobi can handle it, or that this is a path Kenobi has to go through by himself, because he's facing his young apprentice who has gone to the dark side. Maybe. You no. think? Uh, it sounds Sorry, like, my mom. Yeah, it sounds thinking. like something Yoda would do. Face him alone, you must. People were compl complaining online. There were like a bit of slow parts, which is like you're you're expected to, right? He's no not always in. Well, bro, since when has Star Wars been lightsabers open from beginning to end? Never. Episode two. Attack Even, of the Clones. Yeah, but Attack of the Clones is at the end of the movie. Oh yeah, that's true. The finale. Yeah. There's a lot of the talking. climax. Yeah. Star Wars has always been talking, bro. Especially in the old ones where, like, they actually didn't even do any of, like, the Jedi fighting. It's just like... Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. You know, whereas, like, in the prequels, it's fucking... Doo, 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 doo. Oh, man, Yoda, anyway. Like, but... you know, like Yoda jumping over side flips, back flips, this, that, whatever. Like, okay, okay, relax. The crease, man. But that's what I'm saying, you know, like... Obi Wan is like that last. He has to be generation trained. of trained Jedi. He has to be trained, like you trained your father. Emotional damage. <laughs> yeah, hard. Most of the most of the problems people were saying is because it's like slow pacing and Reva. I, I enjoyed Reva. Where's she gonna go next? I mean, look, Reva did exactly what she needed to do. She pissed me off. <laughs> she did exactly what her character was supposed to do. I really, I really wanted to see the Grand Inquisitor. I just yeah. I can't stand him. Why? Yeah, you know, he has that bitch face. He looks yeah. like a bitch. Well, that's I mean, bro. He's up Vader's ass. Of that's course, he has a brown nose, bro. Yeah, that's why I hate him. There. Yeah. That's what it is. I love how these new Star Wars shows are like creating a bunch of suspense. It's very like it's always so tense because the dark side now, like the Imperials, is such a superpower. I love that, the dark like, side. These people, any protagonist has to like go through the security and make sure not to, you know, everybody's get gonna or die. The checkpoints. Or everybody's whatever. gonna die, bro. It gives yeah. that threat that the Empire is just yeah. looming in the background, and like you know what, your good guys are not gonna win up until uh, Episode Four starts. 
Yeah, that's it. And the rebels the, actually. The new hope. Once, yeah, once the plans from Rogue One get to this shit. All in all, the show gave me more of what I love. Star Wars, fine-tune the Skywalker saga, fill in some of the gaps. It's a show that I didn't think I needed, but I'm happy I have. Now, if you tell me, you know, like, is this show absolutely necessary? Probably not. Probably I, not. I, I could have lived without it. But as, as far as milking the cash cow, this was a pretty good way to do it. That's been another short and bald review. Good or bad, take it or leave it. Whether you like the episodes or not, Kenobi is here to stay. We love it on Disney+. Plus. That's right. Get it. Uh, so, yeah, this has been another short and bald review of the Kenobi series. Anything? Any last words? I'm bald. All right. Stay sexy, my peeps. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Share, like, subscribe. Oh, yeah. Do all the things. If you love us. If not, you know. If not, don't. It's talk okay. shit. It's all good. Don't share. Check out earth57.com. Hey, hey. Hey. Check out some of these uh, dope designs. Hey, 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 hey. And uh, catch you in the next one. Peace. Uh, peace.